okay so right now we are done with in our last video we made um, how to a video on how to um, impute this floor this first floor beam and column layout on this paper space now in this section we will put this beam details which is the beam details of this first floor beam and column layout which is which are all these beam details we will also transfer them to paper space like this and present them for printing okay so right now the first thing we'll do if you check right now we have one two three and then so we will have to create we will create a new a new layer which is this for at least three or four or four sheets so right now to create a new layer we'll just right click on this one which was already created which will come with your stone bridge company structure detailing templates so if you have this template or if you have bought this template for just five dollars you will have these templates already so with this right now you can begin to you, you cannot begin to multiply a copy of this so right now since we have already put this this right now into paper space and waiting for us to print it now if you check a preview of this printing right now let me just show you a preview of this printing and click on this place and then just click on this place right now and then click on this place just to see a preview we, we are going to use um a black and white which is um which is monochron and then just click on preview right now and you can see the preview of your work perfectly you can see the preview of your work so neat and perfect everything is showing so this is how if you print it out on black and white this is how it will look like so perfect you can see it here so this is how it will look like so okay so let's just go back and click on escape now now to create other layer for us to put this beam details right now into sheets or into templates for for a proper presentation so you click on this already existed um paper space from your Stonebridge company template and then right click and then just click on this place move or copy so if you click on this place right now these other boxes are going to appear for you don't just click on create a copy because we want to create a copy so create a copy and click on what okay now it will create this this for you right now let me just maximize this maximize this now it will create this for you let me just um shift this okay now to create this for you right now you have this right now you can see it here and you have this right now so these two they are the same so we have to have to change one of these names remember that we already have this as our, fa our first floor beam and colon layout so just move hold this right now and move it down to this end and then this place where we have two you can see it here which is the copy of this one so just click on this place right now once this shows just click on this right click on this place and say rename and what we are about to do is the first floor beam detail so just say first floor beam sorry first floor okay, sorry first floor beam detail now since we have more than one detail bin detail of that place just a first floor bin detail one one so that we will know or just put a bracket a like this and put one okay so that we will know that that is the first sheet okay so right now we now have this you can see that now we want to transfer and we also have this now we want to transfer this beam detail right here onto this paper space so what i will do right now we will just double click on this place just now once you double click on this place right now you can now zoom with your mouse button zoom out this place right here we, we want to use a scale of still 1 is to 85 so we type z which is zoom enter 1 all over 85 then type sp and say enter now you can now see what we have just gotten we have gotten this right now so just use palm to um, position this thing very well and make sure no part of this beam detail is is um cutting so just click outside 
and then begin to zoom out. You can see that this is okay. You can see what is happening here. We have put this beam into this sheet and this is also okay. So we cannot change this, this type, this drawing type right now to first floor beam detail one. So we cannot change this right now and just double click on this place and say first floor, start from here and say beam detail in detail one okay so again we leave everything here as default because this this is t the same name and the same checker and the same approver and then everything here the same client the same note and the same uh if you have if you have different notes you can just change this note you can see here all dimensions are in millimeter which is okay so right now you can see that we have first beam b1 here been two on this sheet, been three on this sheet, and be four on this sheet. B5 is not showing very well. And if you can see the section right here, they are not showing very well. So we will have to move all these sections here, these sections, and line them lie and lie them down here below and move this bin five to the next sheet which we are going to create. So right now we will I'll just click on this place right now and move this bin five entirely, just move it from this point move it out from this place it will join this sheet this template here okay so right now if you go back to this beam detail right now you can see what what we have gotten you can see that right now so we will now move these sections right here and line, line them down on this place so just click back on model and click on the first section click on this place and move it just here and keep it somewhere here and check let's check on this place if it's okay it's not okay we need to move it upward Go back to, to this place and then click on this place and move it upward a bit and keep it here. Okay, I can also work on this level. What I don't have to work on it because most since you're a beginner, you can you can go and make a mistake here and it will be very hard for you to um close this. You can to come back to this page else you just close it down. So always work on model space and check what you are, what 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 has what you have changed if it has been affected here okay so right now this is okay so we will just line the rest up there so i'll use um the construction line to um no, note my line of boundary so i'll just copy this again right here this is not out so i'll just take this off okay and then copy this right now and move this to this place and keep it here and also copy this just move it not copy move it from out of this point and then place it here and also this also move it from this point and then place it here and then if you check on then remove this construction line which you already created and then if you check here right now you can see how we have successfully lined all our um beam sections you can see that on this place which in the each this section 12 as you can see it here is this section here it here and this section um one is this section right here you can see it here and this section 14 is this section right here and this section three is this section right here okay we can also you can see that this is very tiny we can also increase the scale of this place so to do that right now i'll just um crop this this view this viewport to be out of this one and then create another viewport which is mv what i'm doing right now mv click on this point and then click on this point okay so right now i will now double click on this new viewport right now so right now we have two viewports two viewports one as this and one as this so right now i want to line this section on this place to change the scale of this section to make it more um clearer so i'll just click on this point right now on this second viewport and zoom the place where i have this scale, which is um i have this key at this place okay here the sections at this place so on this place right now i will just um uh, let me use one so 75 here if it to make it z enter one all over 75 sp now say enter okay let me try 50 one all over sorry z all over z all over one all over um 50 sp and i'll say enter 
it, it, I think it is too big. As you can see, it's right here. It's too big. But let me see if we can do any little thing here to crop um, most of this again. Shift this upward and crop it. Keep it here. And then move this also. Let me move this also to drop it here. Okay. I think this is um, okay for now. So right now is to um, begin to arrange this inside here. So I'll just click, double click on this place right now. And then move, try to move this upward. You can see that, but the section line is not showing. So I'll just move this upward first. Okay. This is, and just place it um, down here. Okay. And then just click outside first. And then I'll just try to work on this place to um, move some for some beams up to have some space. Let me check and check if there's any space. Okay, we have some little space to play with here. So I'll just do do this right now first on this. Double click on this viewport, which is this bigger one, and just move up upward, upward. Sorry, and then um, okay, the space is still there. Double click on this place and move up again. Okay, now double click outside. Okay, again now I also um try to close up some spaces here so that I can have a space for to for these other ones to show. So I'll just click on this place right now, and then right now I'll just um go this place right now and move this upward of my snap star. Don't make mistake. And on my auto, I move this upward, and then also um move this particular beam upward move this upward a bit and then move this one also upward a bit again a bit again there's this space for it to play with move this again upward a bit and then i now go back to this place you can see well, what we have achieved you can just click now on this to adjust this right now to you can see bit here and also adjust this also and put this here in here okay so we can now click on this second small viewport and then move palm this upward now move palm this upward and click outside so i can now go right now here and then play with this space which i have here right now and close up this place a bit because this one has a different scale on the viewport so look at what i'm going to do right now i'll just play with this upward here and also play with this um, upward here then go back to this place right now you can see what we have just achieved everything is showing perfectly i'll move this separately upward so i can just double click here right now and then um select just this like i said i can work on this place also but you be very careful okay then move this again um, upward here okay and then i'll not click outside so right now i have to put a scale of this place which i used to draw this place so i'll just click on this place right now model and then just um, copy one of these out since this is the main subheading and then put here click on this place and say okay one is two we use one one is to 50 so one is to 50. that is the scale that we used scale one is to 50 so i'll just select, select all and remove on the line and then click outside and then just drop it directly here and if we check this right now you can see that this is showing like this so we can also since it's the viewport right now we can just come this place right now and place it here place this one here right now and this we can use the text height of this one because the, okay this should be 150 and then we'll take this down here and then paste this on this place directly copy and paste it directly on this place to show that this drawing has a different scale of 1 is to 50 why this whole one is one is to 85, which is the main drawing on the. So go here now, you will see what we have just done. So this is already telling us that this sheet is at scale one is to 85. 
which is this main drawing, which does not have scale under it. But this one that doesn't have scale under it, this one is scale 1 into 50 and 1 into 50. You can see that. Now, on this place right now, you will now come here. Since you have two different scale, this is scale 1 into 50 and this is scale 85. This this drawing is scale 85 and this is scale 1 into 50. You will now come this place right now. We have your scale and put UNO. Under this 85, you put UNO which means unless otherwise stated, you can see that. So you just put this right now, UNO. Um, you have to make this right now to be able to enter. So just have to reduce this test font just now. So just um, click this and reduce this test font, the height of it to um, 1.25 and then click outside here and then just click here. Okay, this now, okay, you can see that. Okay, so you will now put this right now so that they will know that there are two scales on this drawing. That this 85 is not a general scale for this. It is just the scale that the drawings that, that, that does not have scale under it should use this scale 1 to 85. Why the ones that has scale under it should obey the scale under it. So this is how we have um, brought this beam, this beam right now this beam detail onto this place just now, you can see right now. So the same procedure that you have seen right now that you have just done is what you will still do to bring out, to bring up these ones also onto these ones just now. Okay, so this is the, we have come to the end of this lesson for today. And while we wait for the next, which in the next, we will be going over to slab detailing. Like I said, use the same procedure which I used to put the same, all these ones, all these sheets right now into the same step. So since I've already shown you how to um, bring um, your drawing from model space to a paper space, you can see it here, which, which, which you began from this floor layout and onto this beam detail and sections, you can see them right now. So right now, we will now move on to um, slab detailing. So we will now detail this slab, sorry, this slab right here, because this place have a slab. So we will now have to show the slab reinforcement for these ones. Um, but that will be on our next video, and we will still be using Stonebridge Company Structural Detailing Stem templates. So if you have not gotten this template, I would say you should try and get it because it will make your work very easy and also 80% work done already. Okay. And also if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Ekidel, I would say you should do that just now so that you don't miss my coming video on, on, on um, how to detail the slab for this for this project. And also if you have not followed us on Instagram and also followed us on um, Facebook, still on our name, Ekidel, and also on Twitter, I'll say you should do that just now. Go to Twitter, or you can just go to our go to our about. You will see all the informations within there. Okay, so thank you. While we wait for the next.